Hey you guys, um, I was just checking out my subscriptions and I saw that Andrea's Choice, Andrea, um, has just started off a new tag called My Perfect Imperfections and a couple of the people I'm subscribed to have already done it. So I wanted to go ahead and do it too because they, they both said, you know, I tag everyone. So, um, why not, right? Um, let's see. First you start off by going with your three imperfections. So, three imperfections about me that make me who I am that I would not change. The first one is... Is it this eye? One of my eyes have a scar and it makes it shape differently. I do believe it's this eye. Yeah. This right here. <laughs> Actually, my sister's dad, who, um, parent of the year, he did not know that I was running around the truck and started it and then hit me with it and the license plate. <laughs> Shut up, John. The license plate cut my eye right there. Unfortunately, that's all that happened. Um, I didn't like die or get a concussion or anything crazy. Um, but yeah, I got cut right there in my eye, and I was almost blind. The doctor was like, you're very lucky it wasn't a millimeter over, otherwise you would have been blind. So, uh, I have that, and it is kind of a pain in the butt, um, when I do eye makeup, because my eyes are never shaped the same, and it kind of drags, like, shadow and stuff down, um, so it's kind of a pain in the butt in that sense, but I would never fix it. It's definitely something about my face that, like, it's just part of who I am. Um, other things, let's see, imperfections. I... I've come to terms with my teeth. Um, if I, if the if the opportunity presented itself to get braces, I would probably do it. But overall, I've come to terms with my teeth. As a kid, I was a lot more insecure about it. Um, and my family doctor even tried to tell me, like, you know, big teeth are just that's you know what models have and blah blah blah. blah. Well, it's not even so much that. It's that, like, do you see that? You see how crooked they are? I hate that. I would love to get braces and get it fixed, but it's to the point where it's just become a part of me, and I've kind of accepted it and um, kind of moved on past hating my teeth. You know, that's I feel like that's just something you do when you're growing into your body. You're like, oh, I hate this. Ah, well, I, I've come to terms with it overall. Um, and then the last imperfection, I'm going to pick one thing. See, it can't, there, there are things that I would pick that I won't pick because I am going to get them fixed. Um, eventually there will be, there will be plastic surgery in my future. I'm not going to be one of those who is like, oh, plastic surgery, Ugh. No, like I know for a fact. Um, there are a couple of things I'm going to get done. Uh, just minor things from where I used to be a lot heavier and would like to get fixed. So nothing like god awful, you know, um, nothing terrible, but things that I would like to have fixed. So I am going to go with my hands. I have really big hands. I actually talk about this in one of my videos. I, I actually have what I thought were big feet, but apparently like eight to nine is pretty normal. Uh, I thought people usually had like six to eight for feet, but uh, my feet are like an eight or a nine, depending on the shoe. But um, I always thought that was really big, so, but I guess not. Um, but I do have big hands and they're always like, I have never been like, you know, pampered or they like, we had chores. We had to go out and, you know, cut the grass and then break it all up and haul it and you know we had to wash dishes and we had to do all this stuff um so there was never like a time where my hands were ever babied at all um you know clean the bathroom with you know bleach and stuff like that um and it's kind of gotten worse as I've gotten older because I still don't ever take care of them um but I've tried to get a lot better about putting lotion on them and kind of you know got nail polish on, trying to girl them up a little but yeah they're big and they're kind of manly and they've had it a little rough so they could use some love. <laughs> so yeah, that's my three. So that's my scar on my eye, my teeth, and my hands. Um, for things I like about myself, I like my hair. Um, I won't say I've, I've only ever had good haircuts or anything like that. Uh, I've had lots of interesting problems with my hair. But that's the thing is that my hair always bounces back. It usually comes back and is okay, which I know you can't ever actually repair hair damage. Um, don't let anyone ever sell you anything saying that they can heal your damage. It doesn't happen. You either cut it off or you you cut it off. <laughs> that's about it. Um, but yeah, my hair has been pretty resilient. I mean, I recently was bleaching the crap out of it and it's been okay. I mean, for using a, the harshest developer, what is that? 20 volume? Whatever. The harshest developer you can use with bleach. I was using that on my hair and it didn't all fall off. <laughs> so I got to give my hair props for that. Um, I have relatively good skin, 
when I take care of it and keep up on its maintenance. Um, I'm kind of having more problems with it lately because uh, my face wipes that I use don't really get off all of my foundation at night. So actually that would be a great thing for someone to suggest. Um, a wipe that definitely gets off um, MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. That would be great. Um, I can get it all off if I keep kind of going at it, you know, but um, let's face it, it's bad enough for me to even get out of bed and go take off my makeup because I never do it until I'm about to like pass out. So, um, but yeah, overall, I mean, I have pretty good skin. Um, I'm getting, you know, a few wrinkles here and there, but nothing terrible. It's, it's pretty good for someone who spent so much uh, time in the sun as a kid with no uh, sunblock on. So there's that. And then the last thing I like pick one thing here. That's another thing with my skin. It takes color really well. Um, like some of these tattoos are well over, like parts of this are over two years old and it still looks gorgeous and fresh. So my skin definitely has that advantage going for it too. Um, the last thing I like. Mm. My eye color. I am a fan of my eye color. Um, as a kid, I used to always want to get colored contacts. And one day in class, um, a boy whose name I believe was Jamie turned around and said to me, don't you ever get colored contacts. You have the perfect eye color. And I was like, what? He's like, no, don't do it. Don't ever cover them up. And, you know, I kind of didn't used to like them. Um, I always felt like they were really, really plain. And then, like, the more I've learned about, like, eye color and stuff like that, I realize I have, I do have relatively pretty hazel eyes. I mean, um, there's a lot of, like, little color flecks in there, and uh, I have an iris freckle that is black, and so there, there's a lot going on with my eyes, and um, I've really learned to love them and appreciate them. Um, it's amazing what happens in between sophomore year of high school and, uh, being 23, I guess. So yeah, those are my three things I like about myself, and I tag everyone. I will put some specific names in the down bar that if you don't do it, I'm going to be really mad. And then um, anyone who sees this, anyone who sees this and wants to do it, you should definitely do this tag. All right? Bye.